What's up guys, Shawnee Dogs here, and in this video, I will be sharing with you my very first nuke with this new Karma 45 variant, the Armageddon that they just put into the game when they added the Blood Anvil mission team. You get this as a reward for being level 20 in Blood Anvil, which is actually pretty difficult. Some of the challenges for this mission team are pretty much unbeatable. One requires you to get a collateral, it's come up like 10 times for me and I've never completed it. I have gotten a few collaterals, but just not in those specific games. You can't really force that. I think some of the challenges are a little bit too demanding. Although you can, I have completed personally all of them myself. They're a little bit ridiculous for your average Call of Duty player. So this mission team can take forever to rank up. So you definitely want to take advantage of this double XP for mission teams that they will have up all this weekend. It really is a love-hate relationship with this Karma. I made a class setup video for this a few weeks ago and it is really a jack of all trades. This gun can do it all short range, medium range, somewhat long range-ish, maybe it cuts off at that point, but it really is great overall. Although in very short ranges, it doesn't have the fastest fire rate of submachine guns, so it's not really the best there. And also in that like medium to long range, the NV4 will definitely beat it out. So it, while it isn't the best gun for any given scenario, it is almost the best gun for all scenarios, which makes it a good and bad thing. Maybe someone will edge you out with certain weapons at certain distances, but for the most part, this gun's got you covered no matter the scenario. Unfortunately, there was someone using a shotgun in this lobby, but I still did manage to get the nuke, which was pretty awesome. And I have not seen this anywhere on YouTube. I was looking, so this could possibly be the world's first with this karma, or at least the world's first on YouTube. But that doesn't really mean a whole lot to me. Definitely a lot less than getting the world's first black sky camo. But this gun, I'm just trying to show off its potential. It is very, very good. I think you guys should definitely be grinding out this mission team because not only do you get this Karma variant at level 20, but at level 40 for the mission team, you unlock a nuke variant for the HVR, which I think is an even better weapon than this. Although it does struggle at longer ranges, anything from like medium to short range, you will absolutely destroy. Definitely better than the Karma at those ranges. So I would highly encourage that you take advantage of this double XP while you can and complete this mission team along the way. I have also gotten some pretty cool unlocks. There's a taunt called Impatient. I think I got that around like somewhere between rank 15 and 17. And what that gives you is at the end of the game, your guy will like start walking up to the camera like really close in a super arrogant fashion. So definitely good if you want to show off to your opponents. There is also an outfit for the Merc. I think you get the body somewhere between like 10 and 15 and you get the head at around 25-ish. I believe that's when I got mine. And this thing does look pretty cool. It has like a nice crimson, red, bloody tinge to it. So maybe you wanna grind for that as well. You do get that pretty early on. And the last thing that I have so far, I think I'm like mission team level 27. I believe around like between 23 and 25, it gives you this awesome reticle that it is just like a normal red dot site. But whenever you shoot someone, blood gets put all over the site. It doesn't really like cover your screen. It's just a cool animation and I really like it. I've been using it on my MV4. You'll probably see some gameplay with it in the next few days. And surprisingly, that is my favorite unlock so far. It's just that you aim in like 300 times a game and you kill over 50 people. So changing up the little reticle animation after every kill, it is a little bit exciting, bring some fun back into the game. Now the one other thing I noticed, which is kind of sad, I've dropped hundreds of nukes in this game and I never really look up at the sky right away when I call one in. And I found out just in this game, after 12 long prestiges that when the ship first arrives it's like a weird little phase shift you'll see it at the end of the video it just like teleports straight onto the map i actually never knew that because i never looked up right when i got my nuke so i would have never known all this time if i didn't happen to see it right now but anyways i'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of this gameplay in peace and quiet around here this 15 kill mark this is where i start to heat up that was my last close call 
the rest is all just clutch kills it is some very good gameplay so definitely stick around for that and if you do enjoy the video be sure to drop a like comment down below with any thoughts or questions you may have and as always subscribe to the channel if you are new i'll see you guys in the next video peace